Hi everyone, I'm Laura Maxwell and I'd like to share my review of The Omega Watchers by Jane Woodley Hedrick. This is a high suspense Christian novel based on biblical prophetic events of the last days. The characters live through end time prophecies coming to fruition. The main character, Gabriella, has new age beliefs and begins to meditate and practice out of body experiences. During these astral travels, she meets an evil demon who calls himself Arcturus. He lies to her, claiming to be a spirit guide sent to help her on her spiritual path. The back cover states, Gabriella opens her mind to a watcher. He captures her with his mystical powers of universal knowledge. This deceiving spirit proclaims the coming of the Ascended Master, who will usher in a new age of peace for all mankind. Gabriella feels totally alone as her friends struggle to convince her she is falling deeper and deeper into a pit of destruction and is about to cross the point of no return. This totally immersing novel, full of exciting cliffhangers and clever plot twists, won a Christian Spirit-filled Fiction Award and also an award for Redemption Fiction. Firstly, I'd like to comment on how beautifully this novel is written. The author is an extremely talented wordsmith. She uses such pleasing descriptions and phrases without it being purple prose. She could write on any topic and it'd be a pleasure to read, such as her artistic sensitivity and writing style. This novel is as engaging and professional, if not more so, than any top-selling novel available. I myself could definitely identify with, with the leading character, Gabriella, or Gabby. As a former New Ager, I'm very familiar with accounts of extraterrestrial experiences, so-called alien abduction, and so on. And the author describes Gabby's astral travels and paranormal experiences in such an authentic way. Many people don't realise that respected scientific and UFO journals have, for decades, published articles admitting, for example, that they are well aware these so-called ascended masters work with these other um, beings such as they call themselves Arcturians and, and other alleged ascended masters, the Intergalactic Command and so on. You know, many top scientists and government leaders and intellectuals do believe they have been speaking with these so-called advanced intergalactic alien races through channelers and mediums. And they have been told by these beings that before this this Messiah figure, this the great teacher, um, arrives to bring global peace, first there has to be a mass removal of the intolerant from the earth, who um, only block his arrival. And this includes many, but not all, Christians. So, you know, this part of, of the plot in this novel is not fictitious. It's actually very true. And many famous mediums have written of this over the centuries. And this type of rhetoric still goes on today uh, within the New Age community and can indeed be found on many New Age websites. However, not, not everyone is aware of it and... Um, a lot of Christians aren't even aware of it, so I'm so grateful that the author is writing this novel to, to raise such awareness. Therefore, the plot of this novel is very believable. 
um, you know, and it is high paced and very exciting and high level Luciferian government get involved. Gabby's mother is murdered due to her research. She and, and Gabby's father were working on a project to expose the last day's alien deception, the one world control, one world religion and so on. Um, being scientists and ex New Agers themselves, they knew of, of the government contact with these so called aliens, these angels of light or spirits of enlightenment. And the chapter about her mother's murder was so gripping. And just exactly what you would imagine does happen to, to, to whistleblowers at this level. And the novel also has a beautifully told love story running through it. A long-term friend of Gabby's stands by her, desperately trying to protect her from this dangerous roller coaster she finds herself on. And you do actually feel an affection for these characters. They do become quite endearing to you. Again, a sign of the author's quality of writing. And Gabby's spiritual battle really intensifies, especially as you near the end of the first novel. And it really highlights how perfectly normal people can get involved in very real paranormal phenomena and sadly totally change in their personality and behaviour. The last page of the first novel in the series made my jaw drop. <laughs> it ends with a, a sudden international crisis resulting in the Pope speaking at a UN meeting. Something that many of us can readily imagine. And I'm sure, uh, like myself, readers of this novel wait in high anticipation for book two to arrive, um, if they've ordered book two. I believe the third book is now out, so yeah, I, I think it's it's quite an engaging series. And Hedrick conducted an incredible amount of research in fields such as archaeology, ancient languages and prophecy, which she intertwines naturally within the plot. I did actually become <laughs> quite frustrated when I had to stop reading just so that I could sleep or, or work. And I believe it would lend itself well to becoming an audiobook or a movie as her also, her way with words and her descriptions and so on are just so aesthetically appealing. I'm really not surprised her novels have won awards in, in the genre of speculative Christian fiction. And I believe that, yes, this novel will educate believers on the reality and the dangers of New Age. For non-believers, it would be a loving challenge to their belief system. So you could use this book to witness and present the gospel to your unsaved family and friends, but also you could give it to Christian friends to help them recognise and avoid many dangerous and real New Age practices and supernatural phenomena that have crept into the church. The author Jane herself has said... My greatest desire is you have been touched in some way by the Holy Spirit through the spiritual messages and biblical truth entwined in this fiction stories, in the fiction stories. I wrote with the intent of trying to awaken the church to the demonic deceptions all around us. Sadly, many Christians are blindly participating. It's amazing how few Christians have any idea of the paranormal world and demonic deception. New Agers experience in real life what my fictional character Gabriella experienced in the novel. Gabriella's de demonic deception took her into the paranormal world where she experienced astral projection. Although my story is fictional, such experiences are very real. Jane told me she has talked to many that have had paranormal encounters and especially she's spoken to many since her novels were released and many readers contacted her sharing their experiences of astral travel where they, like the character Gabby, 
eventually got attacked by demons during it. Jane also told me when researching and writing her novel, she came across the star Arcturus, which is mentioned in the book of Job. And she said, I felt compelled to name the deceiving spirit Arcturus. I had no idea at that time that later in the book I would include the psychic medium Edgar Case. When I researched the life of Case, I found he actually believed and taught that Arcturus was an extraterrestrial society protecting our Earth and was called the father of the Arcturians. So Jane has, I would say, been very successful with her distinct purpose of educating readers on eschatology through an entertaining story. And she prays her readers will go on to study for themselves, that her novels capture the mind and also that readers will be encouraged to draw closer to the Lord and grow more spiritually. Here are a few readers' reviews that I would like to include just because, having read them, I, I really firmly agree with them. So let's hear a few reviews. I have read both of Jane Hedrick's books and they are both amazing. She's such a good writer. Her writing comes alive and makes you feel like you are right there, part of the story. The cliffhangers leave you wanting more and that's where I'm at now, waiting on book three. Another review. Filled with suspense and surely kept you on the edge of your seat. It's an awesome book. I had a hard time putting it down to go to bed. Another. The twist of a love story and the suspense intertwined with the theme of the end days kept the reader indulged to the very last sentence. And here is a Christian fiction review by Peter Young Husband, Australian book critic. In Hedrick's well-crafted novel, both the plot and alien visitation, end times deception is carefully intertwined and forms a solid basis for this fast-paced, suspenseful, edgy, speculative-based novel. I cannot wait to see what happens next and be further entertained, edified and educated in eschatology, spiritual warfare and demonology. So guys, I hope you find that this review helpful and you can find the author on Facebook under her name Jane W. Hedrick. She has another Facebook page too and it's called The Omega Watchers. Her blog is at janeehedrick.blogspot.com The Omega Watchers and other books in this series are available on Amazon and you can also visit Jane's author page there. So thank you very much for listening today guys and God bless you.